uh, Your Excellency, the Minister of Science and ICT of the Republic of Korea, Honorable Yang Yong Yimin, Your Excellency, the Mayor of Busan, the Secretary General of the ITU, Mr. Haolin Zhu, ministers and representatives of different government present, leaders of the industry and regulatory bodies, ladies and gentlemen. Firstly, I must extend our great appreciation to our host, the minister, and the government of the Republic of Korea for the warm welcome which is beyond our expectations. Thank you. Secondly, I must thank my dear friend, Mr. Zhao of the ITU, for the unflinching professionalism and innovation that the ITU Telecom World team continue to apply to the organization of this prestigious event. This is what we expect from our organization as a responsible organization for the ICT sector within the United Nations system. We have an excellent program ahead of us. Over the next few days, we have an opportunity to reflect and engage in debates on technologies and innovations that continue to shape our world, to consider the best policy and re regulatory responses and determine the investments we must make as we continue to strive to develop our economies, transform our industry, support innovation, and respond to new disruptive business models. In this regard, I must commend the ITU for using this global event, uh, <clears throat> for ensuring that this global event has provided a platform for small and medium enterprises to connect with the international audiences. In the development context, SMMEs have an important role to play. One of the reasons for this is that their business models tend to be based on their innovation. They do not have to seek innovation to suit the business models. Instead, their entrepreneurial spirit is focused on building on the successful business model around their innovation, especially to address our daily common challenges and limitations. This forum has never been more significant. ICTs provide the fastest medium for different countries of the world to connect to <coughs> and to access new ideas and information. They have the power to help us reduce the barriers and enable businesses and human interaction from every, anywhere and everywhere. Ladies and gentlemen, there is one blight on the history of ITU Telecom's world. This global event cannot be truly global until it comes to Africa. Following discussions with the Secretary General on this issue, I held a number of high-level discussions in South Africa and have a great honor to convey to you our willingness as a country to host the ITU Telecoms World 2018. We, we do so, we do so not because of South Africa, but because it is now the time for this event to be held in Africa. Now is the time Africa is on the move. Most of our countries have prioritized ICTs as a key driver of social economic development. And many are backing up, <clears throat> backing up this up with forward-thinking policies and programs and investment projects in infrastructure, innovation, and skills development. Yes, there are many interesting and exciting innovations taking place in Africa. We believe that hosting the telecoms world in Africa will open up a wide range of possibilities for investment, trade, and partnership between African countries and the global ICT community. We would love to have an honor to welcome you to the world of Africa in the warm, beautiful, culture rich and rising metropolitan digital hub of Durban at Itegui in Guazulu Natal in South Africa. 
Our message to this forum is to say, come to Africa. Invest, develop partnership, find new solutions, share your ideas, and enjoy the potential we have as a continent. If we work together, I can promise you an interesting and exciting journey ahead. Together, we'll be inspiring new ways ahead. Our vast continent remains full of untapped potential and hidden treasures. Africa remains number one investing destination. For South Africa, ICT innovation and technology, technology change is at the heart of our economic development strategy. As we continue to advocate and support the African Union Agenda 2063, calling for Africa's advancement through industrialization and innovation. We are open to business. We are open to do business with you. Together, we want to start investment partnership with you now. I hope that as part of our outcomes of the ITU Telecoms world, would be partnership to advance innovation and development in Africa. I thank you.